who was the most influential person in hip hop? And it's only from these three choices. Ready? Tupac, Biggie, and Easy E. Tupac, because he was like, he was a gangster. He was a poet. He was an actor. Uh, he was a revolutionist. I think he was everything. I think Pac was like a mixture of everything, not just music. He he could put poetry together, talk. You know, he, he was well spoken. Yeah, he can act. I thought Pac just was a mixture of everything. Like and um, but all three is really, all three is big. Yeah, more or less easy is number two, because Biggie didn't really have a long run. No, you got to think Biggie run was really Biggie run was was shorter than Pac. Pac was already in when Biggie came. Yeah, and another thing, he didn't have enough product. Like Biggie only had what one or two albums. Pac was still putting out with forty albums. Worth After he was yeah. dead, he got out of prison in two weeks. He had six albums done. Yeah, so you got to give Pac credit for his body of work. Well, you would be right because seventy two percent said Tupac. Wow. Nineteen uh, percent said Easy E, which would put him at uh, second Kill place. E. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, that put him at second. Yeah. Oh, okay. And okay. then Biggie was five percent. Oh, okay. So, right. Three uh, percent was other or whatever. But right. I would agree with Tupac as being super yeah. influential. Right. Uh, but also, I think Easy E because without Easy, we wouldn't have right Bone Thugs. We wouldn't have right. DOC. All these you know big uh, right artists that are still around today. Snoop Dogg. Right. So Easy kind of helped. Right. With that momentum, but uh, Tupac, I think, inspired people to right. even do it. Like you were inspired by these rappers yeah, yeah. when you were growing up. The only reason I take away stuff from Easy because I, I write everything. Easy didn't write anything. Right. He like, was more the business say, Ice side. Ice Cube write the rhymes that I say. Like he's, he didn't write anything, but like you say, he was more on the, he was more on the, the business side. Yeah, admin guy. Yeah. But did you like, ever meet him? Oh, did I meet Easy? Yeah, but in New Orleans, I was a fan. I was yeah, a fan yeah. standing by the stage. With, a, yeah. with about 30 guys, so he came and talked to everybody. Right. I'm thinking that that's how Easy made me want to get a Jerry Curl. <laughs> oh, God. Now, I done seen Lil Richard and everybody, but Easy was the first one to literally, <laughs> even, Prince, even Prince was really rocking the women with his Jerry Curl. Right. But me seeing Easy with his dicky suit and his Jerry Curl, I couldn't do the Jerry Curl, but I went and bought me a dicky suit yep. and some All Stars, and I wear a size 13, so it looked like I had a paddle boat. <laughs> <laughs> it looked like I had a boss. Well, hell, when it snowed down here, I'll come in handy. Yeah. 